Hello everyone. In the previous session, we have learned how to send an email from the Gmail by using send SMTP mail message activity. In this session, we will learn how to fetch 100 emails by using get IMAP mail messages activity. And also, I will show you how to configure IMAP. And also, we will see what are the server details and the port details for the IMAP. And also, we will learn how to resolve the errors which we are going to face it in the IMAP. All right, let's get started. Now, if you see in my mail, I'm having a lot of un 100 emails, right? If you see there's a subject training, another one introduction of UiPath. There are a the lot of documents. There's a lot of emails also available in the particular inbox. Now, how can I go ahead and read all these emails by using UiPath Studio? Let me switch to UiPath Studio. I'm going to create a new sequence by clicking on Add Sequence. I'm going to give it as Get IMAP Mail Messages Activity. Click on Create. Now let me go to the activities. Now what we are going to do, we are going to fetch or retrieve all the messages from the particular server. How can I go ahead and do that? If you see SMTP, the purpose of SMTP, that simple mail transfer protocol, is to send an email. But whereas to retrieve that we are going to use IMAP protocol, that is nothing but internet messages access protocol. Now here, to fetch all the messages from the email or all the emails from the email, what are the activities that we are going to use? That is get IMAP mail messages activity. Let me drag and drop onto the panel. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties. What is the properties, common properties that we have? First one is the display name timeout ms nothing but within how many milliseconds that it has to abort now if you see the mail folder now if you see my email that i'm having inbox stared snooze sent drafts these are all the folders right in the same way which folder that you want to read the data or read the emails that by default i have given as inbox i will explain you the port and server and the log on it's nothing but email address right now which email that have to log in i have in the previous session also we have used learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com i want to read from this gmail and the password i will provide the password by using get password activity get password activity let me drag and drop onto the panel and I'm going to give the password over here. Why I'm going to give in a such a way that my password or the, these are the confidential information, right? So that we have to use password and then I'm going to set the result by using on control K and I'm going to give it as set password. And then I'm going to click on enter. Now, already the password has been stored in in the variable of set password set pwd now the same variable i'm going to use it over here what is the variable set pwd is the password and then you can see the options over here if you want to read deleted messages then you will go for the delete messages if you want to make any messages as read at that time what are the mark as read you are going to read it by using mark read now only 100 messages nothing but which are the mails are not read in the particular email box then we are going to use only 100 messages now i'm going to use this 100 messages and after that you can see the secure connection that i'm going to give it auto in the previous session also we have seen this kind of secure Cure connection. We are having SSL on connect, start TIS, start TIS when available. I'm going to use auto. And you can see the top. The top is nothing but how many mails I have to read. Or how many mails I have to read at a time when I'm going to run this bot. I have to read top 30. I have given default over here that is 30. Once the mails have been read, I have to store somewhere 
that messages right where i can store in the output i can go ahead and store it by clicking on control k i'm going to set variables like unread mails and then i'm going to click on enter now let me go to the variables you can see unread variables that i'm having variable type that is list of mail messages you can see over here that you can see the expansion over here system dot collections dot generic dot list which is coming internally system dot net dot mail dot messages please uh, you know keep an eye over here because of that system dot net dot mail dot message that we are going to use in the upcoming activity in the sense how can i go ahead and read all the messages what kind of subject do we have what kind of you know data body we are having it and from where we got the messages and to all this detail that we will have it in the system dot net dot mail dot message a mail message okay now what i'm going to do i got all the what are the 100 mails top 30 red mails 100 mails that i have stored in the variable that is 100 mails now i want to see how many mails are available out of 30 mails we got 30 or how many are there that I want to know that how can I go ahead and do that by using I can display by using message box let me drag and drop message box now I will simply say count of 100 mails I have given by default as 30 but actual count will be there in the out of 30 we fetched 30 emails or less than 30 emails that how can I know that I am just going to give count of 100 mails so concatenating with 100 emails that is where we are going to store all the mails dot count now uh, count is the property that we are having to get the count and I'm going to convert this into two string because of the me message box will accept only string format right now let me go ahead let me save the bot before going to run this bot we'll see some other properties we have missed out what is the properties that is port number another one server where we can get these things let me go to google and search for gmail imap server details let me click on enter and you can see by default you can get over here imap.gmail.com for the to retrieve the 100 messages right but where are two you can see over here incoming mails one server outgoing mails another server that is smtp and imap right now we are going to work to retrieve the emails right that is imap internet messages active access protocol for that i'm going to use imap.gmail.com in the server and the port number is 993 let me go ahead let me give the details over here port number 993 and after that server we can see that imap.gmail.com correct before going to run this spot i will tell you one thing still there are some of the you know access related security related changes we need to make it so that we will get an error over here and we will try to resolve that error also okay go let me go ahead let me run the bot now if you see we got an error get imap mail messages your account is not enabled for imap use so to enable that go to your go to gmail and then go for the settings over here and then you can see see all settings click on that and then forwarding and pop or imap details click on that and you can see over here the status imap is disabled please click on select enable imap and then save the changes along with that you have to make one more change also if you have not done it go to manage your account go to security this one i have already explained right two step verification of and after that make your less secure app access as on if you have turned it off make it on over here after making the changes please run the bot once again email automation process execution started you can see 
count of 100 miles 6 fantastic now let me click on ok now what we are going to do till here we have seen how to retrieve the emails from gmail by using get imap mail messages activity now i want to read the some information from these mail activities how can i go ahead and do that if you go to the properties of you know get imap mail message activity the output is going to be storing in uh, messages that is 100 mails that is in the variable type that you can see mail messages list of mail messages now each and every of the mail i have to read it right now how can i go ahead and to read this list of ma mail messages let me go to activities i'm going to use for each for each activity i'm going to use it let me drag and drop for each activity onto the panel now where are the list of the mails uh, mail messages that we got it in the 100 emails right let me go ahead let me select that 100 mails and after that for each and every item right now what is this item having let me show you by taking a small message box you can see i'm just going to drag and drop this message box onto the panel into the for each body and then what i'm going to do item I'm just going to display what we'll get item dot to string. I'm going to convert. Now let me run the bot once again. What is the output? We'll get it. You can see count of 100 mails. That is six. And you can see whenever I have selected item dot to string that we got it system dot net dot mail dot message dot mail message that we got it. That is nothing but in the item that you are having the mail message related how can i go ahead and fetch each and every item which we have in the uh, you know in the item let me click on okay now if you see over here i am having for each right for each you can see type of argument it is in the object format but you can see the 100 mails that we are having in the list format how can i go ahead and do that let me drop down this and then browse for types and then what i'm going to do i'm going to convert this for each into system dot net dot mail you can select that under under this system dot mail you are having mail message select that and then click on ok now what does this mean what are the mails that we are having in the 100 mail i'm going to convert into system dot net dot mail dot mail message type argument and now you can see over here now we are going to get item dot you can see all the things like alternative views attachments bcc body body encoding body transform cc and all the properties whatever we have in the list of that is in the mail message all the properties that we got it now what i'm going to say i'm just going to saying that to or else i will say from from whom i got it this mail that is from from which mail id i got it i'm going to check it out item dot from dot to string because of i need to convert into to string format and then again i'm going to concatenate i'm going to get the body saying that i'm again concatenating item dot body dot to string to get all these properties what we have done it for for each activity type of argument we have changed it to system dot net dot mail dot mail message is the type of argument which we have changed now let me go ahead let me run the bot email automation process execution started and you can see count of 100 mails six and you can see from learning technologies that is basha dot amir 86 and you can see the body also over here but the entire body we have not taken over here okay and you can see all these mails that what we got it from the learning technologies and one mail from the google that is from the starting of that i hope you understand how to use get i map mail message activities as part of this session thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment session i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day